Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's Mike the Muppet Modeler here on this lovely Wednesday morning and as you can see on the bench it's a 148 scale FW200 C4 Condor by, made by Trumpeter uh, the kit number is, let's have a look 02814 if anybody's interested in buying this one um, but before we get into it many thanks to all my subscribers both new and existing the older ones the newer ones the long-term ones the short-term ones it's all it all helps many thanks and it's very much appreciated. I'm so overwhelmed and so grateful. It's unbelievable. You wouldn't believe. So anyway, today I found this one in my stash and realised I hadn't done a kit review on it. So uh, I thought I'd give it a bash. Okay. Oh. Nice, nice tight box. It says total plastic parts 301, film parts are for the instrument panel, so the decals for the instrument panel I would think. 488mm long with a 684mm wingspan, 7 sprues plus fuselages, so uh, not a bad size. Quite a nice kit by the looks of it. Let's have a look. Um, is that one? Just the one decal set, maybe? Nice interior, which obviously won't be seen, but it'll be done up anyway. Bit of information on the on the condor. Nice, nice big box, nicely, nicely packed as you can see. Nice big, nice big packets, nice big sprues. Open this one up and have a look. As you might have been able to see, guys, I've been doing a few video shorts just to try and grow the channel a little bit, but it's not really working to be honest. detail nice nice rivets nice resets panel lines nice detail on there nice very nice riveting on the what looks to be the horizontal stabilizers a little bit of recess panel lining on the ailerons or the flaps on the one side on the upper side I would think uh, lower side maybe you can have them down little bit of uh, surface what can you say deformity maybe on there a little bit of discoloration on that end it almost looks like it's been sanded don't know if you can see that maybe no visible flash or ejector pin marks or anything though so that's nice nothing to be filled by the looks of it 
that's uh, sprue B by the way obviously you've got all the not bad detail on the inside of the door plastic feels quite thick quite sturdy So that's nice, nice one. Next up we've got the wing sections. This is screw C. Again, really nice detail. Nice panel lines, straight and then offset at an angle. Raised ribs there. Nice rivet detail. Obviously, two engines, outboard and inboard engines. More detail on the it's got to be the horizontal stabilizers very nice and nice a little bit of flash on the box section there but nothing to worry about don't know what these parts are as yet obviously but there's some nice Nice raised detail on the inside of there. Looks really nice. Hopefully you can get a good look at that. Next up in the pack we've got the two sprues. They look to be exactly the same. Obviously fuel tanks, I would guess. Parts of the engine along with these. Got tires, more tanks. Maybe you've got oil tanks and fuel tanks, I wouldn't know. Uh, three seats. Wheels. A bomb. Propellers, obviously. Landing gear, struts. Loads of little pieces. But all really nice detail. Not a lot of detail to the seats though. Might have to add a little bit maybe. The engine cowlings obviously there. Some more engine parts. Hmm. Then, as I said, exact mirror, mirror image, carbon copy. So you've got two exactly the same. I can put this one back. It'll be a miracle, but it happens sometimes. So never know. Yep, let's go. Got another, another pack of two screws. I think it's got to be internal parts, cockpit floor, um, fuselage floor. I would think maybe this part where the rear wheel goes.
very fine detail on this section here. Now if that's going to be the upper part of the fuselage. Or maybe it's an underside part, under the fuselage part portion, I don't know. Um, interior bulkheads. Wheel bays, maybe, possibly. Little bit of cockpit detail, I think. And on this one, got more internal flooring, more fuel tanks, more bulkheads, two more seats, machine guns. That's got to be the cockpit instrument panel with probably uh, foot pedals, uh, radio, I would guess, some oxygen bottles or fire extinguishers maybe. More instruments. Very nice, not bad detail either. I think it's going to be a sizable, sizable aircraft, obviously, given the sizes that are on the box. I'll put that one in a minute. And we've got the clear parts. that well didn't I? Not. I don't think most people will be watching this bit anyway so they normally get bored after about 30 seconds and click off onto something else so but I think there's either a scratch there or it's a split one of the two but other than that nice and clear oh it's a split nice and clear we've got nice turret not quite as clear some parts of it I suppose it depends on which part has to be painted. Um, must be a belly gun. Another part of the underside. Maybe two parts of the underside. Maybe this is part of the top. Then you've got instrument panel. Bottom the hole, nicely done. No seam lines or anything like that. Nice. Put this back in there. It's a bit annoying though, having a split down the middle of the canopy. Right, there we go. Nice. Colour call out sheet, just the one design. Here's the clear parts, the rear and the forward under the few belly parts. The open part there at the back for the machine gun and the turret at the front. I'm guessing the white square should be a swastika. And you've got our colour colour call out for the colours that are used in the kit. I'll leave that for a sec, leave the instructions for a sec. Because packed in the box, obviously as you can see, the tail section and the fuselage. 
nicely packed away. But just for you guys, I'll get it out. As it's you, we'll take it out and have a look. See what we see. There we go. Loads of lines of rivets all the way down the fuselage. A few light panel lines. Um, I think there might be. There's going to be a bit of clean up to do down the seam. And there's going to be a bit of uh, filling to do there, I think, I reckon. Doesn't quite fit together properly. Be a little bit like the C47, I think. But doesn't seem too bad, so it's not going to be a lot of work. Nice rivet detail. And line panel line detail on the tail or the vertical stabilizer if you like whichever way you want to call it it's got some nice detail on it but like I say, the nose section seems to go like it's going to go together really nice but I think it's just going to be a little bit on the rear it's going to need a little bit of work on the bottom anyway top side is going to need a little bit but very very nice looking and nicely boxed and nicely packaged Very nice. Actually got a paintbrush in there as well. Humbro zero zero zero. Always handy. And we've got the instructions obviously the usual read before assembly um, call outs for the symbols what they mean going to need some weight in the nose I believe shouldn't do really because I'm going to have it sat on the rear wheel so sprue call out decal sheet Film for the instrument panel. I do haven't seen any of that. Haven't seen it. Oh, decals I must have taken out. So, as I said before, with all the, um, I've taken all the decals out of all the kits. Obviously, being kept out of the shed. So. There we go. Cockpit floor, instrument panel with the foot foot pedals. As as I said. Sideways facing chair first. Probably a navigator or something like that. Build up. The radio uh, instrument panel section to go into the middle there. You thought that would have been over there and point into there, but uh, hey ho. A few more little devices, whether it's radios or whatever. Adding that. Adding the film. 
to the instrument panel, overlaying the instrument panel. Then it will be a little bit of PVA glue in all of the instruments, make them pop out, stand out a little bit more. Fuel tanks. More. Well, I'm guessing they're fuel tanks anyway. Then adding them and detailing the uh, fuselage floor, bulkhead, installing the fuel tanks on that may be a battery or some sort, I don't know, possibly. There's a lot of fuel tanks if there is, if it is, fuel tanks. One, two, three raised ones there. A uh, rounded flat one along there with a bat. I, th I think that's probably the battery. Looks like a battery. Um, bulkheads. More of them. All, so up to six, seven. So part seven really is all interior parts. Obviously doing there's the landing gear, the wheels, tires and wheels anyway. Putting the cop the glass in the fuselage, all the clear parts in the fuselage. Landing gear struts, legs, whatever, however you want to call them, and the colours. There's the underside of the belly. The machine gun. There's those two nice rib sections that I pointed out on the sprue. There you go, look at that. Five big, well, I'm guessing there's fuel tanks. Turret seat going into the, um, the base of the turret. Onto the horizontal stabilizers as it says there, left and right, or right and left. Fitting the nose, an external piece there, machine gun, horizontal uh, vertical stabilizer, and putting the machine gun in the turret. Building up the engine. Hmm. Bit, bit strange because I saw four parts. with four parts with no hole in the tip and four parts with holes in the tip doing the forward turret bomb and other engines that's the outer engine assembly that's the inner engine assembly all looks to be pretty much the same as you would expect a 
wheel bays, inserting the wheel bay sections into the lower part of the wing and then add in the top part of the wings to that add in the engines landing gear and the flaps and the ailerons Adding the under the wheels to the undercarriage and the wing sections obviously onto the main body of the fuselage. This one's the tail wheel tail tail wheel tail wheel. Obviously which shows fit in there. Then you've got the gear bay doors. Add in two bombs, pylon aerial, then having the, di the door open or closed, putting the clear part in the door, clear part on the top, which, I, which it, that is totally clear, two bubble sections. Hmm. Cockpit canopy, I think I yeah put that on. Obviously a mat all masked up ready for painting before actual painting the the whole aircraft. Obviously you don't want to be getting paint into your cockpit where you've already done it and made it look nice. Let's see, add in the four propellers and then job done. So there you go guys. The FW 200C4 Condor. Many thanks for watching and again thank you to all my subscribers. And I shall see you again in the next video. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.